Yo, what am I gonna say? This is the one and only Young L, aka Mr. Mali, aka Art Skull, and you're watching 9GZ Extreme. Keep on watching that. You see here that. Boom bang. Oh. Hey, I'm a little, little ladies. They like the Maya for your love. Hey. Yo, my real names are Christopher Omeye from the eastern side of Nigeria. Born and bred in Joss, Plateau State. And I'm an artist. <laughs> what inspires me to dress the way I dress? Um, basically, it's, it depends on my mood. It's how I wake up. You know what I mean? Some nights I plan what I want to wear. I wake up the next day and I don't feel, you know what I mean, that kind of way. Like I woke up today and it was kind of raining. So I just wanted to be chilled out and just enjoy the, the weather. So yeah, it depends on my mood. The hat, yo, I was just telling my manager, I've had this hat for like four years, but then I had dreads, so the hat couldn't fit in. So now that I've cut off my dreads, I just woke up today and I, I opened my, uh, my my drawer and I saw the hat and I put it in, I was like, yo, this doesn't look that bad, you know? I should try it. And I was just telling him I love it. You know what I mean? You guys are going to be seeing a lot of this hat <laughs> for a while till I get tired. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just chilled, man. It's just silver. Just, you know, I mean, I'm not big on the so many chains, so I just love this. This is like Superman. So, yeah, just easy, man. Nothing special. You know what I mean? Silver. Um, why did I cut my dreads off? Um, I got tired. I got bored. You know what I mean? People that have dreads know it's not easy when you're sleeping. You know what I mean? You have to like lay it proper on the bed. You have to wake up, you have to wash it, you have to condition it, dry it. Ah. It was stressful for me and um, apart from that, a lot of people started looking like young L. So <laughs> I had to like switch up and um, yeah, allow them to flex it. So yeah, big up Keto Youth with the dreads. <laughs> Um, nah man, I don't think I'm gonna go back to the dress, but you never know. I'm a guy that I get bored easily, man. I can wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what I mean, I'm tired of my low cut, I wanna get my dress. But for now, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying the cool breeze that's blowing my skull. <laughs> um, that was deliberate actually, you know what I mean? I, was, I just put out my first album last year. It's gonna be a year next month actually, and I didn't have a lot of features on the album because, you know what I mean? You have to prove yourself first. So when you have like artists that you feature, it, it takes away the, the content from you, the star from you. So I wanted to just do stuff on my own, and I think I've got to that level now, you know what I mean? I've done that. So yeah, my next project is basically a collaboration project. So I've been working with so many artists, and um, yeah, you're gonna to see more collaboration artists have been collaborating i've been collaborating with so many man i can't mention some you know what i mean working with um people from nigeria and out of nigeria and worldwide i don't want to say too much but you know what i mean just watch out the project is going to be done soon and um you're going to see all the songs on it yeah Um, I love African women. I love dark skinned girls. So that was just me showing women and their bodies in the video. It wasn't anything extra, you know what I mean? Um, I, I enjoyed watching the video myself. When you see the, the dark skinned woman, it's, it's like seeing a body of art. So I was just showing that in the video. And I also wanted to um, just cause some provo provocation, basically. I don't want you to just watch my video and be like, oh, it's a nice video, it's okay. You know, I mean, you need to feel something, you need to know, you know, I mean, it shouldn't just be a passing video. And I think I achieved that with um, Aya. So, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> At all, I'll be son of God, proper Jesus speaking. I don't follow women. I love women a lot. I sing about them, put them in my videos. But I'm not a womanizer, you know, I mean, I, I respect all women, love all women. So, I'm far from a, <laughs> far from a woman either. Do I drink? Do I smoke? Um, it depends. You know what I mean? I'm a, I am just do things casually. You know what I mean? It's not too... You know I mean, when we're having fun, you know, we sip some champagne. 
burn some herbs, nothing serious, you know what I mean? Don't be sad, the car off my head, like no occupation, you know what I mean? When you want to relax, you know what I mean? There's time to relax, it's time for everything, baby. Chance for the weekend. Oh, um, Bam Bam, I recorded Bam Bam in Kenya actually, myself, Chopsticks, you know what I mean? We were experimenting, which was the project I'm working on is about. We're trying to push the limit a little bit, experiment outside the borders of our sound. So that's what we're doing with Bam Bam, and we came up with that, and we've been dancing since we made that song till today, man. When she just played that record, we just go stupid. So I'm excited about the song. Shout out to Chopstick, shout out to Annie, my, my manager, he contributed, we all contributed to make that song happen. And um, yeah, people are loving it so far. People are coming up with the weirdest and craziest dance moves, and I'm enjoying it, because that's what I want. That's how I feel when I listen to the song. It just, just makes me go wild. So yeah, um, watch out for the video coming soon. I have a, a record with my, um, with my guy DJ Michael Andre alongside myself. It's called Feeling. Brand new banging out there. You know, I mean we're just dropping music, Zim Live, dropping vibes here and there everywhere. Yeah. Creative thinking for my videos is it's always collaborative. Like myself and the director have to sit down. We have to go back and forth. I have my ideas, it has its own ideas. We come to a midpoint where we agree. I mean, nobody imposes his own idea. We find a way to make it work. And I'm always, um, you know, I mean, I'm lucky to have a great synergy with the directors I've worked with. So shout out to each and every one of them for coming through for me. My relationship with Chop Six. Chop Six is my elder brother. <laughs> That's my big boss. And um, he's a genius, one of the greatest producers to come out in the world actually. So yeah, we've been working, me and Chopsy have known each other for too many years, man. From when boys were just, before we entered university, we've been working and um, yeah, that's my brother always holding me down, man. Oh, now, this is the, this is the funniest thing I've heard today. I stole chopsticks from Skill. Why would I steal anybody? I don't own chopsticks. First of all, I've known chopsticks before he even knew Skill. So, like, there's no stealing chopsticks, you know what I mean? Um, him and Skills, they have a good working relationship too, so I like that. We, we work together. We did a song called Pass, myself, Skills, and India, and chopsticks. So, we're like a big family. Skills is like half J-Town boy, half Kaduna boy, so... Those days, me and Scales used to be in the studio with Chopsticks. These were days where I was in like 100 levels. So we've both known it all each other like a long time. So there's no stealing. Like we're one family. What am I working on? I'm putting up singles, a lot of music, a lot, a lot of music, a lot of videos. As I said, a lot of collaborations. Um, I'm working on a full project, but it's going to be out next year, early next year which is, has a lot of collaborations. Um, as I said, my first album didn't have a lot of that. I featured like RTBs and Sako Day in the first album. So this second album, I'm trying to do more music, more collaborations. The fans have been asking for that. So guess what? Your dreams are coming true soon. Hear that. Um, upcoming artists, I want to have a collaboration with me. Let me make it easy for you. I would have said talk to management, but I know people don't like hearing that. Because me, when they used to tell me that, I used to get mad too. Tag me, make a video on Instagram. Tag me. If I listen to it and I love it, I will holler at you. It's as easy as that. Young L, Mr. Mali, hit me up. And yeah, if I love the song, why not? Burundi, Burundi. Girl, is your body be killing me. Burundi, Burundi. Girl, is your body they bullying me. Yo, what am I gonna say? This is the one and only Young L, aka Mr. Mali, and y'all have been watching me on 9GZ Extreme. If you got questions for me, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's Young L, Mr. Mali, Y U N G L, Mr. Mali. Hit me up, you know what I mean? Tell me you were watching me on 9GZ, and I'll follow back. You hear that? Zim Life, a war. What's up? Okay.